Hello everybody, this is Scott from Photocrati and the Photographer's SEO community. One of the questions that we get asked often by our community um, is related to the platform or what's driving uh, a photographer's website. Now, in the community we talk about, and in, our, in the Photographer's SEO, uh, SEO ebook, we talk about WordPress a lot because WordPress is probably the easiest tool for, uh, for photographers to use as far as getting their content up there, you know, creating a look for the for their website and having the SEO, um, you know, functionality. There's so many plugins out there, um, and some of the best are uh, plugins for any platform is actually for WordPress. So we talk about uh, WordPress a lot. That and also because we are we're used to WordPress. We that's what we use. Um, and actually, Photocrati is a WordPress development company. So. Uh, we're all about WordPress. However, uh, it is very possible, extremely possible, to optimize other website platforms uh, for SEO. And this is what I want to show you. So, um, first, there's Joomla. So a lot of websites use Joomla. Uh, and how do you find the t you know tips and instructions and where to look for things for these different platforms? So if you do a Google search for uh, Joomla SEO, I came up with this. This is from SEO Moz, a 11 step guide on how to optimize your Joomla for SEO. So this is giving you all the, um, like what plugins to use, where to look for different things inside of Joomla. Cause you know, we're not Joomla users. We are WordPress users. So we're gonna show you WordPress. But as I said, everything is possible Anything that we talk about is possible inside of other platforms. It's just a matter of finding where to implement things, how to implement things, and, and whatnot. So um, I recommend if you're a Joomla user, start with this article, SEO your Joomla website in 11 super easy steps. You can also just do more Google searches on Joomla SEO or Joomla SEO tools or Joomla SEO plugins, and you will find articles um, that are sharing their own advice specific for Joomla, okay? So um, I definitely recommend checking that out. Drupal, same thing. Now Drupal, actually, the first thing I got for Dru Drupal SEO was this one plugin, Drupal SEO Tools. So again, we've never used it, can't really comment about it, but, you know, it's here. And it looks like there's actually a whole thing with uh, graphs and charts. It looks like Google Analytics, in a way, um, brought into here. So, um, you know, this is what I would recommend checking out for that, uh, and that's Drupal. And then a lot of photographers are now using Squarespace. So Squarespace, there's no plugins per se, but if you go to Squarespace and go to their help, help.squarespace.com, and do a search for SEO, the first thing that comes up is how do I increase my site's visibility to search engine? So they're showing you where to put things in their, in their back end for SEO purposes. So this is a great place to start for that. So again, whatever you're using, if you have an HTML website, it's just a matter of doing some Google searches to figure out where to put things, where to implement things, um, if you need assistance. And if we can help, we will help. If we can't help, we will try to point you in the right direction. So thanks for watching.